Okay, so I created my basic form and showed you how it updates your database and what it's used for. Now I'm just going to look a little bit of format in this form. This is where you'll probably get most of the marks from because you're, I don't know exactly how it's going to be worded, but I imagine that you're going to be asked, you're going to be given like a little scenario and asked to um, format a form appropriately for whatever um, information, based on whichever information you've been given. So we'll just go through that now, formatting. So in Design View, you can actually change the format of this form. So we've got three sections in our form. The form header, which is normally where you put the name or a title for your form. So at the moment it's called Students Form, which is what I called it at the beginning. Um, and you can change that. So I'm going to just change that to data entry form for okay. Um, I'm just going to center align that as well. So it's got the same features as you would have in um, any Microsoft application. So I'm just going to go ahead and format that as I would like. That's a bit too big. So I'm just going to make that a bit smaller. Now you can open each of these sections, so that's the form header, so I'm just going to open that up a little bit because I actually want to add um, a little instruction box for the, because students will be using this uh, form, so I want to give them some instructions and I'd use a label for that. So I'll just get my label and just put it in and then I'm just going to say please. Okay, so I've just given a little bit of um, information in there. Probably should have done this off video. Apologies for that. Um, okay, and then of course I can format this as well um, according to whatever I want to do. That's a bit too big. Um, and I'm just going to center align that also. The other thing we can do, so we can format our text, we can add labels for extra instructions. I'm just going to adjust the width of my form. And I've got a form footer below and I can adjust the size of the detail as well, just to make everything a bit clearer. If I need more space, then I can make more space for whatever I'm going to add in, what controls I'm going to use um, and controls I'll do in the next video. Um, so we can change the background colour as well. So if I right click on any section and I go to fill back colour, I can adjust the background colour like this. You can also do it in property sheets. So if I click on a section, I can put in a back colour here also. Yeah, so it's exactly the same. Uh, it does the same thing. I can also format my text. I can do that here or I can do it up here. So I think I'm going to make that black. I want to adjust the size. Um, I'm going to center align it um, and I'm going to change the font um, and I'm going to actually make that a bit bigger uh, and bold because I want that to stand out so that the students can clearly see what fields they're entering data into on the database. Once I've done one, I'm sure you know how to use Format Painter. Um, you can format painters just here. I can copy that format in to all my other fields so it saves a bit of time. So if I just click in, click on this, Go to Format Painter and just click. Okay, it will just then pick up that formatting from that one and then just allow me to put those in. Saves so loads of time. Um, obviously, I've chosen this design because um, it's for students and I think they'll probably appreciate these kinds of colours and formatting. This is what I'm saying about the question. You need to bear in mind um, what you're going to be asked to do. I think I'm going to look at it, this informed view and see how it looks. So it looks a bit better, I think. It already kind of is starting to look um, a little bit more informative and maybe more attractive as well. I'm going to go back into to design view because I just want to change the background colour of the data entry um, boxes. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to change those to like an orangey shade. Maybe not. Maybe like a light grey. Yeah. Okay, and again, I could just pick up the Format Painter to do that, to format all of those as well. 
okay and then just look in form view okay not so pretty but it's fine you get the idea um so that's it for formatting the form um the next video will be all on adding controls to your form